On this 4th of July, Independence Day, I think we as citizens should read the Declaration of Independence from word to word, not just the part that we quote all the time, but just read it all. Last night, I decided to read the entire thing. I don't know when the last time that I've read the entire thing, but I sat in bed before I went to sleep last night and I said, you know, because you know I'm concerned about our country, you know how upset I get about the things that's happening in our country. And I know you are too. Any patriot, anyone, any citizen that actually loves this country will not be happy with what we see going on. But I read the Declaration of Independence last night because I wanted to just see how far we've fallen. I knew we had fallen a long way. I knew we had fallen. But when you read that, when you read that, you, you see where we are in this country, but you also have an appreciation for those 56 men that signed that Declaration of Independence. I have a framed copy right here. This is my framed copy of the Declaration of Independence, and I keep it hanging in my dining room. I am so proud of this framed copy. But last night I sat in bed and I, and I, and I Googled it so that I could read everything uh, word for word. And one thing I noticed about those men, okay, because you know today we talk about, you know, every time they bring up somebody, especially Trump, they try to talk about, oh, he's flawed, but this. He might be flawed, but that. But, you know, actually, there's no human being <laughs> that's not flawed. You know that, right? But they seem to want to attach that to Trump all the time. You know, before they talk about him or at the end of what they've got to say about him, talk about how flawed he supposedly is. And they're pure. They, I mean, they have no flaws, obviously, the way they always have to pin that on Trump. But... Those men, we call them our founding fathers, those men that signed, participate, and wrote that Declaration of Independence, they were flawed men. They were adulterers, they were dr drunkards, they was this, they were that. But one thing they had that a lot of people do not have today, and that is courage. You understand that? They had courage. Uh, President Trump talks about courage all the time. It takes courage to say, you know, I'm, I'm tired of this. I want something different. And I am willing to risk everything I have. Because those men, they risk uh, they, they, uh, their lives, their fortune, everything they had on, F safety. They, they, they risked it all for to get away and to break away for, for independence. They did that. But today, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. We have so many cowardly people in Congress. Now, when you uh, when you listen, or I guess you read, because when you hear, when you watch a video of, you know, the uh, the people meeting in Congress, the 13 colonies that had that first meeting, and you hear how they spoke, you know, so of course someone else's voice is, is, is reading it. But they didn't get up there and... Uh, talk a lot of foolishness. They didn't get up there like Adam Schiff and tell all kind of lies and make up stuff. They didn't use profanity, Lord, like some of these people get on the floor and use all kind of profanity and lie and degrade people, mainly Democrats. They get up there and say all kinds of things on the floor. But these people, they got up there and they said things that were profound, okay, because they wanted to break away from the tyranny of Great Britain. And the things they said were profound. So I look at what we are have today, and I look at what these men sacrificed, and then they were bold enough to sign it. You see, just putting your name on it, was it took courage to even sign it, because you were putting everything. They said they were willing to put, they say, and for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, that's God. We mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Because, you know, sacred honor, that's something. Because today, no matter how honorable you are, if the liberal media and the Democrats or whatever hates you, they will try to uh, destroy your honor. They, they will destroy your reputation. They will do everything they can. But these men were not even afraid of that. They risked it all. And I, you know what? I am so glad they did. Because... 
America is only, what, 247 years old? A young country. And look at all we have accomplished in that short time. This country has become so great over the years that we have people flooding in here from all over the world wanting to be a part of this country right here. The same country that we hear Democrats disparage every day. They say it's a racist country. It's this. It's this homophobe. And all these things they say about this country, the same country where they got their education, whether they got it through affirmative actions or however way they got educated, they got that here in America. They have these jobs that they got here in America. But yet and still, you hear them saying all kind of evil things about this country. But one thing you don't ever hear them say is, I'm getting up and leaving here. I'm leaving this racist country. I'm leaving this homophobic country. Because, you know, they talk about our founding fathers and they say, you know, slavery. They say all these things. Yes, those men were flawed, just like every human walking this earth right now. But they had something that these people didn't have. They had courage. They had a determination. They wanted freedom. They knew that freedom was the only way to, to live and have happiness, to pursue the happiness. They knew that. And they were willing to fight. They had already fought the Revolutionary War. And it was like, you know, we're going to break away from this British king because, you know what? They had a list. And that's another thing. When you read the whole thing, they list repeated injuries and usurpations of this king. It was a, and they said they wanted the world to read and see why they wanted to break away. And one of the things that they uh, said on, these, uh, on this list <laughs> is one of the things, one of his repeated injuries and usurpations were imposing taxes on us without our consent. That was one thing. But they had a list of things he had done. It was horrible things. And they went to the world to say, hey, this is why we want our freedom and we want to break away from this king. Because this is what he has done to us. And we want co complete sovereignty away from him. We want our own country. We want our independence. And that was brave. Because at the time, British, the British military was the strongest, the most powerful one in the world at the time. And to be able to even fight and win against them, that was a feat all on his, of itself. So they know these, this is somebody that wanted freedom. So here we are today, and everything's backwards, okay? Everything's backwards. Because in the Declaration of Independence, it was talks about how they want to create a government governed by the people, okay? The people are in charge of the government. A elected government, elected by the people, and governed by the people. Now, now it's the other way around. I hear people say they're afraid of the FBI, they're afraid of this. They say, I said, why don't we rise up? So they rose up. <laughs> they rose up back then. Any, anybody that did something that they didn't like, they, they pulled them out of their house. The person who did it. It wasn't necessarily, see, when people talk about a civil war, they can't even think, think about citizens in the street. That's why people are so afraid. Now, don't say civil war. We don't want a war because they think we're going to be in the street fighting each other. We're not the problem. Back then, <laughs> they were not just fighting each other. They were grabbing the people who did this stuff out of their homes and tar and feathering them. That's what they were doing. But they said, that's violence, that's violence, don't talk like that. I understand, YouTube will take a channel down if you talk like that. They, they'll take the channel, my channel down. But the, the, but the government feared the people back then. The people were in charge. But now we have people so afraid, if I say something, if I speak out, the FBI will put me on the list, which, which they will. They, the school system, the, school, the parents go to the school board, and what do they do? They put the parents on a terrorist list. They're doing all that because they don't fear us. But it won't take much to get the power back if we rose up. If we had the courage that these men had, if our men today had that kind of courage, we wouldn't have fallen as far as we have. But I just wanted to take this time to first of all, to say, you know, happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day. But I want all of us to reflect, just go and read the entire thing, the whole Declaration of Independence, everything that it involved, the preamble, everything, and say, hey, <laughs> it gives you, it makes you feel good, but it makes you feel sad at the same time because you see, okay, we've fallen so far, and, and then character and honor and courage, all that is just seemed to have gone to the wayside. But it lets you know what kind of country these people fought for and what they wanted 
a con and they put a constitution, they have a declaration of independence, they put all that there. And that's why I'm so thankful for our Supreme Court because their job is to look at the bills and the laws that this that our Congress put on put in paper, put in, you know, put down, put in force, enact, I guess I'm trying to say. And then they, they look at it and they uh interpret it against the Constitution. And they'll say, this is not constitutional. No matter how, it feels good to do these things. We may have good intentions or whatever, or whatever reasons we're doing these, but this is unconstitutional and we have to strike this down. So that, we can go all the way back and thank our founding fathers for putting us, giving us a constitution, giving us a declaration of independence, for putting everything on the line, for fighting for this country, and maybe if we read this Constitution and this Declaration of Independence, maybe instead of reading foolishness and playing games and all this other stuff we do on the Internet, why don't we Google some of these important documents and read them? Maybe that'll put some fire in us and we'll rise up and take our country back. Just like they took the country completely and fought for our freedom in 1776. Those were serious men. No matter how flawed they were, no matter if they were white, no matter, none of that mattered because they had a mission. They had a burning desire for freedom, for liberty, and they put it all on the line, fortune, reputation, honor, on the line to, to found this country that we're living in today, the greatest country in the world as far as I'm concerned. And I'm so thankful for them. You guys, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July and have a blessed day.